Five year old Mia Hope of Rockdale County has grown up with the odds stacked against her. She was born with a major medical problem and was placed in foster care as a newborn. But after three years of waiting, Mia's luck began to change when she found a young family willing to foster and fight for her no matter what. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here now with Mia's story. Beth? And Tom and Sine, when Mia was finally adopted by her foster parents, she was given a new last name, Hope. And that word, hope, is everywhere you look in their home. It's a sign of what they've waited for for six long months. The hope that Mia would get a healthy donor liver that she desperately needs. Mia Hope has spent nearly every day of her young life waiting. First for a family, now for a second chance. But if life in limbo weighs heavily on this tiny Conyers five-year-old, you would never know it. She's the most joy-filled little person you'll ever meet. I mean, you saw her. She's amazing. She's a light, and she is the light of our family. Mia is the sixth of Allison and Bryce Hope's children, three biological, three adopted. Together, they fostered close to 40 kids. And Mia came to them in April of 2015 the most fragile. At two and a half, she weighed just 16 pounds, the Hopes say, and was so tiny she fit in three to six month old baby clothing. As a newborn facing open heart surgery, she had been surrendered by her biological parents. I remember holding her in one of the doctor's offices after we continued on, and you just, as you hold, you just feel every single rib in her body because she was so tiny. But in her new home, Mia blossomed and began to connect with Allison and Bryce. And it was rough because she was, she was a very standoffish little girl, but you saw those glimpses of her starting to say, okay, I'll, I'll accept your affection. I'll, I'll let you sit next to me. After a thousand 2016 days in foster care, Mia was adopted and became a hope. And in April of 2017, with her liver quickly failing, she was placed on a transplant waiting list. It's really hard when you have a sick kid. There's no easy way to describe what the last 221 days have been like for us. Watching your kid steadily decline is um, really hard. She's so young that she doesn't understand all the implications of, hey, I'm waiting for an internal organ to be replaced inside. Side. Um, and so she just plays and she just enjoys life. But the hopes know that a new liver is the only chance Mia has of getting better. And really we've just got one good shot at getting it right. But all we could ever wish for for Christmas is for Mia to get her gift of life. Nothing would mean more than that. And on December 18th, after 238 days of waiting, the hopes got their Christmas wish. Children's Healthcare of Atlanta flew its transplant flag for Mia. And when it was time for her surgery, in true Mia form, she took the lead, grabbing mom and dad's hands and walking herself back into the operating room. And Mia's transplant went off smoothly without a hitch, and she's now recovering in Children's Health Care of Atlanta at Eggleston in the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit. And Allison, her mom, says she wants Mia's donor family to know how grateful that they are for this gift because it means Tom and Sine everything. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. You got but, me too. That yeah. is so beautiful. I'm so happy for Mia, and her parents yeah. are just angels. Yes, We've got and her mother. Six kids? Yeah, her mother sent me a message today and said that the transplant surgeon came. By and he said, Mia is doing perfect. Well, and being a donor yourself, you know exactly how this impacts families. Yes, yeah, it's so a powerful thing. It really is. Thanks so much, Beth. Beth. Thank you.